Yeah, that's a nice base to start with. Mm -hmm. So we're out here in Jordan's garage and he's about to show us how easy it is to use paint shop for airbrushing. And uh, it looks like you got a great piece here to work with. Yeah, and helmets are really cool because uh, they're easy and they're small and uh, you don't need to have a big paint gun to do it. And we're gonna use some paint shop uh, candy colors because we want that silver to show through, right? Yeah, it's gonna be basically whatever candy color we shoot over the silver base, it's gonna be metal flake candy. Apple green, red, and orange. Nice, and I noticed you got, uh, you have some tricks up your sleeve to make this nice and simple and easy. Yeah, uh, once I tape off the little panels of quarter inch tape, uh, we'll spray a base and then uh, I have this simple little template to uh, make fish scales and sun rays and everything else. So, awesome. It's uh, pretty simple. Show me how. Yeah, let's do it. So the plan here is obviously for the taped off spots to have that silver showing through, and we're just gonna exactly. When you pull them, you'll have silver metal flake outlining your colored stuff and. It just adds to the finishing effect, so it's pretty cool. And then uh, for this top panel, what I'm gonna do is run basically a little crazy pipeline of uh, tape, and when you peel it, after you spray candy over it, it leaves a kind of cool design. I just almost have it all taped off. Um, what we're gonna do now is I'm actually going to take the fat tape and I'm going to block off the line that separates all the panels. You don't have to. Usually you could spray it in black and it separates all the panels with the jet black. It just gives it that different panel look and then it looks like all the paint is lower. It gives them depth. All right, so you got it all taped off and now what's next? Color? Yeah. We um, paint? Basically, uh, what I want to do is do the top with a light candy coat around all the, the piping on here and uh, then we'll blacken the edge at the end but uh, I kind of want to leave this panel silver and then just have the colored piping and it, it'll it'll make for a, a nice little uh, transition and then uh, the sides we're probably going to do fish scales and two greens on this side and then we'll do fish scales and two blues on this side and then uh, on the back I was thinking about some uh, red uh, big scales or sun rays they call them so Cool. We'll, uh, we'll do it right now. And you, you don't reduce this, right? Because no, most it, airbrushing you do have to reduce. Yeah, most airbrushing you do, and with the paint shop, um, I like to get a nice colorful coat on it. And if you reduce, if you reduce it like other airbrush paint, then uh, if you want a really light color, it's I reduce it. But uh, other, other than that, I, I don't, and it turns out real thick and colorful, so we'll uh, We'll go ahead and All start. All right, show me how. Yeah, clean the gun real quick. Basically, I made this uh, plastic template. You can get them a little stiff, flexible plastic anywhere. Um, I basically just cut equal scales, so one row, and uh, what I do, I make a whole panel in fish scales, and you highlight it with a darker color, and it kind of looks like it, it's a fish. Nice. It's, it's, it's pretty cool, and I got some smaller ones too, uh, I'll show you. But uh, you start, and then uh, where the bottoms of the scales go, when you move it down, they go to the tip of each round, and then vice versa. So you basically go like that all the way down, so they're staggered, and uh, it actually turns out pretty cool. So I'll show you, show you how it goes. Nice. Let's see if I missed anything, and I can just see. A little light in some spots, so I can just go through and uh, pop a little bit back in there, and uh, we're uh, almost ready to clear coat it. That looks awesome. Yeah. 
I'm impatient, so I usually just pull the tape right away. Uh, the longer it sits, the easier it's going to be and the less little chips you might get on the edge and you might have to clean that up or something. But uh, if you let it dry for 10, 15 minutes, it's, uh, it's the best to pull off the tape and you're good to go. Wow, man, that came out awesome. Yeah, um, pretty stoked about it. And what's cool is we just cleared this 20 minutes ago and uh, you can touch it. And uh, about four more coats of clear and this thing will be uh, ready to take some abuse. Yeah, yeah, it looks awesome. And that was yeah. so easy. I think I could even do it next time. Oh, easy. I taught myself in the garage, so. <laughs> cool. There you go. Sweet. So. Let's get some more clear on it. Yeah.